I'm like, I don't know which way the day is going to go, but if I'm going to make up an outcome in my head, it might as well be a great outcome. Why would I, why would I put the, the negative outcome in my own head? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I have a presentation that I got to do later today. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I think it's going to go terrible. I think they're going to boo me off the stage and, uh, they're never going to ask me to come back. And, uh, they're going to tell all everyone in their network that they shouldn't hire me as a public speaker anymore. And my, uh, my public speaking income is going to drop. And you know what I mean? Like, why would you tell yourself that? I, I like me. I love me. So I'm going to say, man, this gig is going to be amazing. I'm going to knock them dead. They're going to tell all their friends in their network that they need to hire me. They're going to take the YouTube, the video and put it up on social media. It's going to go viral. I'm going to have the most viral, inspirational quote of 2024. I'm going to be Times Person of the Year. I'm going to get a Nobel Peace Prize for all the lives I've touched. Like I, I like to tell myself, ama myself amazing outcomes. Welcome to Products of Circumstance, everyone. <laughs> Podcast with Ken Skeen and myself, Pat and Joseph. We discuss mental health through the lens of Black mental health and mindset matters. It's not just mental health, it's mindset matters. Because not everything we talk about is straight up mental health. Actually, I'd say a lot of it, a large percentage, if this is your first time tuning in, a large percentage of what we talk about does have to do with mindset and perspective and shifting those perspectives and just giving a new framework for how to think about things. And anyway, we do that through the lens of Black men because as you can see, we are both highly melanated brothers <laughs> with beautiful skin <laughs> beautiful skin <laughs> drinking lots of water and uh and we just record our conversations that we have anyway we're very good friends and uh, this is our opportunity to just kick it with each other and just share some wisdom with folks who might be on their personal development journey so this show is unscripted it's un <laughs> edited <laughs> edited <laughs> I'm not even looking at the cue cards because forget the cue cards. Um, but please do share this with somebody who's on the personal development journey. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, Ken's going to tell us what we're going to talk about today. So, All right. So this is what I wrote down during our one hour, one hour hiatus talking about octopus and their tentacles and <laughs> how they solve puzzles. All right. So learning how to select and, and or control your thoughts. Mm. That's a good one. I like it. I like that a lot. So, and if you're not mastering what you're thinking about, you like it? So if you're not mastering your thoughts or working on um, your mind and working on your thought processes, um, talk, like, so I, I'm a big believer in speaking to the universe. Anyone can call it what they want. You can call it God. You can call it Jesus, Allah, Buddha. Whatever you want to call it, you can call it. I call it the universe, right? And whatever you think about is what you're going to see. So, all right, here's a good one that anyone can relate to. Anyone. Um, you're, looking at, you're looking at new cars. We were just talking about cars before we got on, right? You're looking, uh, comparing different SUVs. Now you start thinking about that brand new vehicle, right? And the color you want. You want, you want it in that um, indigo blue um, Jeep Wrangler and all of a sudden, you start seeing Jeep Wranglers everywhere, right? Because that's your thought process. In what color? So, in indigo blue. Indigo I'm blue. just using the color. Yeah. All right, let's go B5, whatever. So, indigo blue Jeep Wranglers, right? All of a sudden, you start seeing Jeep Wranglers everywhere. And then all of a sudden, it clicks, and there's indigo blue Jeep Wranglers. You've never seen them before. You've been driving along all these years. You've never noticed an indigo blue Jeep Wrangler before. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not promoting Jeep. I'm just using an example. Yeah. I had a few Jeep Wranglers, so that's what came to mind. Um, so your thought process is now that I'm thinking about it, that's what I see. So it works the same when we talk into the universe. So if you think about a journey you're on, when it comes to let's, let's talk about mindset for a second, entrepreneurship, right? So you're starting a new business, right? Or you got into a new business. You just got hired somewhere. If you keep in your mind, positive thoughts, that's what I, I, I really love doing. I, I keep positive thoughts in my head of, it's going to be okay. I've got this. I learn what I need to learn. And, you know, write in pencil, write your plans down in pencil. You have to plan though, right? If you don't, you fail to plan, you plan to fail. All right. Write your plans down, but keep your thought processes in check. 
and control what you think about. Because whatever you think about is what you're going to see. That's what the universe is going to unveil to you. The doors will open. The windows will open for you to walk through. But if you have bad thoughts or negative thoughts or I'm not, you know, you keep telling yourself you're not worthy enough, you're not good enough, whatever it may be, that's what you're going to see. Go back to the car um, scenario. When you start thinking of a vehicle, let's be, let's go um, Porsche, right? Think about Porsche all the time. Uh, I do. I know Fenton does. So whenever I'm driving, I see Porsche all over the place. There's Porsches everywhere. Porsche Panameras in in <laughs> in black, in blue, in red, in yellow, in white. I see Porsche, Porsche, sorry, Porsche everywhere. Yeah. That's what I have in my thoughts. So if you don't, again, if you're not controlling and working on controlling your thought process or what you bring to light, the universe will, if you want to think negative, that's what you're going to get. If the, if the sky is always falling, that's what you're going to get. Yeah. yeah, yeah if everyone cool. is against you, that's what you're going to get. If you feel like the world is against you, that's exactly what you're going to see. If you feel like the doors are opening wherever you walk, if you feel like any opportunity is yours, if you feel like all the abundance in the world is yours, that's what you're going to see. So if, if you're not learning to control your thoughts and look, we're human being, I'm a human being. Because some days I wake up, I'm not in a, I'm not, I'm not in a bad mood when I wake up, but maybe something was in my, in my, um, in my thoughts before falling asleep, where I'm just kind of overthinking something and I try right. to relax my brain, right? To fall asleep. Yeah. But you better get back in that mind frame of it's going to be okay. Because if you don't, you just, you, you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. Yeah, you definitely are. I, yeah. Um, before you go any further, I left my baby monitor on and my wife is in the room with the baby and whatever she's watching on YouTube, I can hear. So I'm just going to turn hear anything. <laughs> I can hear it's really distracting me. Hold on one second. Go ahead. That's now. All right. Yeah. So when you have negative thoughts, right, it's like being in a rocking chair, right? Something to do, but gets you nowhere. <laughs> right. I never heard that That's one what before. It is. It's, okay. <laughs> it's something to do, but gets you nowhere. You can rock back and forth in your thoughts and say, "Oh, it's the sky is falling. Oh my God! You know, everything's everything's bad. Everything. Look, it's not that bad. Our previous generations went through worse. Your par bad. our our parents, our grandparents, especially being a minority. I'm sorry, in this beautiful country we live in. They went through a lot worse than we have to go through right now. People talk, oh, look, I'm in sales. I'm in car sales, but sales manager. I hear clients talk about interest rates right now. Look, interest rates are kind of high. They are 8.9, 7.9, 9.9. Those are high. But do you know what your parents were paying? 17% was normal. 21% was normal. All right. So, they went through worse, and that's that's just percentage. I'm I'm talking about in life in general. So if they got through all that. We can get through these bad times we're going through. And yes, there's some days that you just you, you do feel like you're backed into a corner. I do. There's some days like I feel like I'm back into a corner, but then I switch my thought. You know that that lasts for about five minutes, right. two minutes, and then I switch my brain back to. I'm grateful for what I have. The universe will show me abundance and I'm grateful for the abundance the universe will show me. And that's it. And I get back on my, you know, get back on the horse, right? You fall off the horse, get back on. And I get back to what I need to do. Because either you're going to be doing something and moving forward or you're sitting stagnant. What does that switch look like for you? It's like, do you literally like, wait a second, man, snap out of it. That's or... exactly it. Okay. That's yeah. exactly it. Like, I, I literally yeah. have to snap myself out of it some, sometimes multiple times a day. I'm a human being. What are you doing? What are you doing? People look at me. People <laughs> look like, oh, you see, you're always smiling. You're always so happy. You're so, I mean, yeah, you have no clue what's going through my head some days. I got yeah. stuff with family. I got stuff with with work. I have stuff with um, with financial. I got, I have four kids, all right? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm it. a manager at work, making sure that, the the men and women at my job are making their paychecks count because 
whatever I work for them in a sense, because whatever they sell is how I get paid, right? That's how I support my family. Yeah. So not only is it at home, at work, I'm making sure people are okay also. And then I have to also make sure that I'm okay. Yeah. But you have to control your thoughts in order to do that. If you're not controlling your thoughts, you're like making them go all willy nilly. Yes, yeah? said it. Willy, willy nilly. Willy nilly. Mr. Nilly to you. Um, <laughs> it, it's not, it's, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything for you to just be negative all the time. You're not doing anything, right? What are you doing? You're going to go binge eat three o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah. It's a crazy <laughs> way to spend your time. I, I, I think I really feel like you, you hit the head on, on the nail a lot. Like you said it already and the nail. hit the nail on the head. Hit the head on the nail. You know, I'm not going to worry about it, you know, because that's just stressing myself out. Be positive. <laughs> no, there's, there are people that we know who tell themselves these negative stories all the time. They fill in the blanks with negative things. Almost everything in our lives is, is, is unknown. Almost all of it is unknown. And when you think about it, I'm like, all right, is today going to be a great day or is today going to be a horrible day? And some people are like, today's going to be a horrible day. I'm like, I don't know which way the day is going to go, but if I'm going to make up an outcome in my head, it might as well be a great outcome. Why would I, why would I put the, the negative outcome in my own head? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I have a presentation that I got to do later today. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I think it's going to go terrible. I think they're going to boo me off the stage and uh, they're never going to ask me to come back. And uh, they're going to tell all everyone in their network that they shouldn't hire me as a public speaker anymore. And my, uh, my public speaking income is going to drop. And you know what I mean, like, why would you tell yourself that? I, I like me. I love me. So I'm going to say, man, this gig is going to be amazing. I'm going to knock them dead. They're going to tell all their friends in their network that they need to hire me. They're going to take the YouTube, the video and put it up on social media. It's going to go viral. I'm going to have the most viral inspirational quote of 2024. I'm going to be times person of the year. I'm going to get a Nobel peace prize for all the lives I've touched. Like I, I like to tell myself, ama myself amazing outcomes. And I just, I just don't understand people who go the opposite. I just don't understand. You know, I just am not sure if this isn't going to work out. I'm just like, why would you say that? So I, I tell my kid, she's five. The other day she said something. <laughs> you know, kids are crazy. It, it was wild. Whatever she said, you don't know what's going on in the mind of a kid. But it comes out. You kind of do because they'll say it. And so I said to her, I said, sweetie, we need to... We need to change the way that you think because the words that come out of your mouth is what's in your head. Those are the thoughts in your head. So if the thoughts in your head come out of your mouth and you want to change what comes out of your mouth, you need to change what's up here. And I think she got it. And then I, I, I ultimately tied it back to the heart because what's in your heart controls what's in your head and what's in your head is what comes out of your mouth. You know, so I, I told her to be prayerful about how she's feeling what's in her heart and to be mindful of what's in her, her thoughts, the thoughts that she's thinking. I said, I want you to think happy thoughts, think about happy things, beautiful things, kind things, loving things, peaceful things. And I can tell you for a fact that she gets it and that she started to say nicer, kinder things. Not like she was like, you know, on track to be a serial killer or something. It's like, I hate people. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you all. It wasn't like that. It was just, you know, she'd be like, she might say something that was like, oh, you know, that may, that doesn't seem like a pleasant thought. I don't know. You don't need to be saying that. You're five. Anyway, if kids can get it, adults can get it. I think it's easier for kids to make those changes because they don't have all the, you know, crap you know, of life that's piled up on them. And, you know, we're kind of stuck. We're not completely stuck. We're like, we need WD-40 stuck. Like, we we need... <laughs> we need that external influence to lubricate us so that we can get unstuck from the way of thinking. You know, we need that WD-40 right, right. in our ear. 
Um, kids are a lot more malleable. You know, you can just shake them up and they'll just do what you tell them to do. It's like they're going in this direction. You take the kid, you turn them this direction. They start going that way. And it's like, yes, parenting win, change the life. Adults are much more difficult. We're like, you try to move them and they're like, they, even if they start going in this direction, they'll go back to the same place that they were going after a little while because they're just so used to that. And it just takes a lot more constant, you know, pounding. It's like in the head, like you got to think different. You got to think different. You got to read this. You got to listen to this. You got to study that. And over time, as we always say, it's like Google, you know, the search results get pushed down. So the right. negative stuff is like on page 10 instead of page one. You know, it's it's there, but it's way under the surface. And, you know, you've got new new programming, you know. So, yeah. I, yeah. And the last thing I'll say, sorry, the last thing I'll say, I just want you, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're having a negative thought and you're thinking negatively about a situation, just stop and speak out loud what's going on in your head and ask yourself, is this the outcome that I want? If it's not the outcome that you want, change your thinking, change what you're saying in your head and start to speak internally and out loud and write it down if you have to, the outcome that you actually want. Because I think, I think what's cool about it, even though it's a negative thing that you're saying, is you're, 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 you, you are very aware of what the opposite of what you actually want is. Whatever, whenever you're saying something negative, that's actually the opposite of what you want to see. Right. So you have a really good starting point. It's like, well, if go, God, I don't want that. Whatever is diametrically opposed, that's the thing that I want. So I'm going to start speaking that. that that's it. No, no, I'm going to go play off what you were saying. Uh, you reconditioning your mind, right? Mm -hmm. So you, like you, you just brought up how people are so used to one thing because they just they've conditioned themselves to well I'm, I'm so used to to failing i'm so you you know not getting what i want i'm so used to whatever may be in a negative aspect uh -huh. that it's more com it's a comfort zone of well i already know the outcome uh -huh. I, i'm not going to su succeed anyway i know the outcome so i'm prepared for it uh -huh. instead of just reconditioning or taking that kinetic shift <laughs> message or taking that <laughs> taking that shift right taking that shift and saying no it's there is a different there is something different and you hit it on the head just now right where write it down and say it out loud i think we need to do that more often actually say it out loud mm -hmm. i'll draw when i'm driving I, I have a little over an hour drive each way to work um which i don't mind i actually enjoy that because i get to decompress or i get to like think out loud i'll turn the radio off and just talk out loud to myself and if i have a good like, uh, I like that one, a nice gem that I say to myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I use the voice to text mm -hmm. and I text myself so I can remember later. And sometimes it turns into an episode, like the episode we're talking about right now. Right. It was one of those messages I texted myself. <laughs> and said, oh, yeah, we can talk about this. This is great. This is some good stuff. That boy, good, right? He good. He good. <laughs> he good. That's a coming to America thing for some of you younger folks. But oh, anyway. God. Are we old enough that yes. we need to, like, explain the humor? <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, we do. And the part one, not part two. Anyway, sucks. yeah, just reconditioning your mind to be more positive. Again, Fenton just said it. We say it a lot. Journal. Journaling. And journal your way. Like I said, you could, you'd be writing in a book. You could write it on a napkin. You could write it in a text message to yourself and an email to yourself. Not everyone likes to write. That's what computers are for, right? That's what everyone has a phone. Mm. I don't care how broke you are. You got a phone. Yeah. All right. In the, this country we live in, everyone's got a phone, whether it's prepaid or monthly. Everyone's Shut got off. A phone. You can text yourself. <laughs> All right. It, it, yeah. Even if your phone don't work, you can still get on Wi Fi, put a message in it. You get on Wi Fi, <laughs> still send yourself something. So there's no excuse on that. But you gotta you gotta talk talk to yourself, talk out loud, listen to what you're saying. So if you're so negative, right? Like, all right, so I'm not gonna get this job, I'm not gonna be able to do this presentation, um, whatever it may be. When you start talking out loud like that, you can even listen to yourself. If you start hearing yourself so speak very negatively about what you're about to accomplish or what you're striving for, switch it. Like flip the switch, right? If you need some help doing that, find guidance. Mm -hmm. 
hopefully you have a circle of friends and family that you that can help you with some kind of guidance. And if you don't search for it, search for the guidance that can help you flip the switch in your brain to tell you, all right, it's time to start talking more positive about myself. It's time to start um, reconditioning my brain and using my mental health and mindset to say I'm better than what I feel about myself. And like Fenton was saying, it's like that whole analogy with Google, right? Page one, page two, and page three is all these negative thoughts that you keep having. And the more positive you keep putting it into the universe about yourself, all of a sudden those negative thoughts are on page 10. Yeah. But unless you're, unless you're looking for the change, unless you're running after change, you're never gonna. And too many people, I, I see it on a daily basis, Ben. They're just, they just, talk. why would you talk down about yourself? Believe you, me, the rest of the world will do it just for you. They'll do it for you. The, the people you call your friends and family sometimes will talk down about you behind your back. So trust me, they're putting it out there. <laughs> why wouldn't you want to put out the positive, yourself. why wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to put the positive feelers out there about yourself? Got enough people talking about me. Um, enough talking I, I, when I look in the mirror, I'm happy with what I see for the most part. There's some things that I would like to change, but in general, I still speak very highly about myself when I think, when I, when I speak about my physical appearance and, and if I don't say it out loud, I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, no, I'm a good looking guy. And I, there, again, there may be things that I want to improve upon, but improving upon something doesn't mean that you know, the thing is inherently bad or the quality is, in, you know, inherently low or what have you. It's like, I'm sure Mercedes Benz wants to improve and Rolls Royce wants to improve. Apple wants to improve. Like all the best brands in the world want to improve upon what they've already done. It doesn't mean that they're terrible. You don't have to be bad to get better. You can be great and get better. LeBron James right. is amazing. He wants to get better. He's you know, age is kind of fighting him on that, but <laughs> Apple Apple can be better too. Stop making cell phones. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna cut that part out. Um, <laughs> you, you better not. <laughs> but, but it doesn't. It, you don't have to. You don't have to beat yourself up. You know, I can want to lose some weight and still feel like I look good. You know, I, I can I can feel like I need to get better at public speaking, which I do feel that way about myself. But I can also acknowledge that I'm a great public speaker. And I can accept that other people feel that way, too. I'm not huge on the external validation. And, then, you know, sometimes, though, if you want a frame of reference, go ask somebody. I did a fantastic exercise once. Uh, this was I don't know if it was last year, 2023 or 2022. Um you might know, actually, because I'm pretty sure I reached out to you. And I hit up a bunch of my friends and I was like, tell me the first three words that come to mind when you think of me. And the feedback that I got was tremendous. I was like, you feel this way about me? Little old me? I was like, thank you so much. It, 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 actually, it actually reaffirmed a lot of the things that I already thought about myself. Because I think very highly of myself, <laughs> not for no other reason. You know, I almost I don't I don't want to make a disclaimer about it. I think highly of myself. I like me. I love me. I think I'm good. I think I'm great. And I f I feel like everyone should feel that way about themselves. If you don't, though, ask the people closest to you. What are the three things that come to mind when you think about me? And let them reaffirm you. Now, just be careful because that. <laughs> <laughs> it could go well. Could go either way. Yeah. Now that you ask. You're a shark. <laughs> you know, and, and hey, listen, if um, that's actually a good exercise. That's a good exercise for people to do. By the uh, way, so I think was, everyone should. Uh, anyone so listening good. should do that exercise. Send send some text messages out and ask people in your circle. What are the three things that come to mind when you think about me? See what you get. You're probably going to be pleasantly surprised or maybe not surprised, but at least pleased. And, you know, you're going to find out that the way that people see you um, is more than likely in a very positive light. And if people see you in a positive light, it's probably because you are a person, you know, who has impacted them positively. And in order to do that, you need to be 
saying, thinking, doing positive, positive things. Um, I'm totally getting a FaceTime call right now, but I'm going to just ignore that real quick. Um, I forgot that was happening. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me find positive it. things. <laughs> Come on, hang up. There's a couple of edits you're going to have to do on this one, bro. Yeah, seriously. For something that's not edited. All right. Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. So what I was saying was um, I think that you'll probably be pleasantly surprised. And you you said it, just to go back to what you, you said, and I'm going to think we can wrap up. If you see something, right, you saw the car, then you start thinking about the car. And then you speak, you know, I, I know I'm interested in this car, I want, I, I, maybe I want this car. And then you take the actions to go get the car, right? But first, there was something external. What you took in impacted the way that you thought, and then your thoughts impacted your words, and then your words impacted your actions. You know, so thoughts become things eventually. You know, you and I have businesses, we thought it, we spoke it, and it became something after we took action. You know, so just be super mindful of that the way that you think is eventually going to manifest in your actual life, in your physical life, because you're only going to act on the thoughts that you have. So change your thoughts for the better and your life will become better. Well said, Fen. I love it. Love the way you wrapped it up. Just reading what's on the cue card, man. <laughs> well, sir, have an amazing day. Got to go upstairs and help with babies. You got one home sick right now, so... Yeah, I hope to feel better. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody feels better. And we'll catch y'all soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share with somebody on their personal development journey. We'll catch you next week. Peace.